Hello everyone, my name is David and welcome to A Tech for Android. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to get that nougat pixel look on your home key. So today's tutorial, um, I'm going to basically show you an application. It's called Navbar Applications, and you can get this application from the Google Play Store. Now, your phone does not have to be rooted for this. So basically, where you need to go is go to the Google Play Store and just type in Navbar Apps. Once you type in Navbar Apps from the Google Play Store, and I'm going to show you what it looks like real quick. So. Basically, Navbar Apps is the first option on the very top. So once you go ahead and you download that application, go ahead and open up Navbar Apps. And as soon as you do, you're gonna have the first four options uh, on the customization um, that you want to do, or you know, it's entirely how you want to place it as. And what I mean by that is you've got four sections here: active app, static color. If you scroll down, battery percentage and image. Now, basically, the image is what gets you that nougat pixel look on your navigation keys. Um, you have a last option on the very bottom which is not available yet but I will get to that shortly after um, I discuss the first four options up here. So basically an active app is what I have it set on and what it does is basically if you open up another application whatever color in that background is that's going to turn your navigation home keys color and basically your time shows and your battery and etc that's also going to change to the app itself like the color wise um, another option is static color you can choose any color that you want and it'll stay on that specific color and that is it you scroll down to navigation bar widgets here where it says battery percentage and image battery percentage basically it doesn't tell you how much battery you have left it just gives you a visual uh, like for example this right here um, I, I tried it a few times I just did not like the fact that it was there it was kind of annoying so I end up just turning it off in general um, so basically right here where it says image you want to hit this icon wheel up here but check this box in so once you go ahead and you hit that basically that wheel you're gonna have options here to where you can choose what themes that you want um, if you see something here you do not like all you need to do is basically go to shared images you can actually go to the Google Plus community page and every day or every two days or how often they do it they normally put down new download links to download new themes if you scroll down more here on this page um, you have more themes you can choose from as well um, these themes have actually been here for a while um, I haven't seen any new uploads in this section yet but like I said if you don't like what you see you can always go to the Google Plus community page so go ahead and click on that if you want to see more themes uh, for our choices and once you go ahead and you do that you can either join the community or you or not it's just entirely up to you I prefer to join because I always get notifications and it tells me if there's new things to download as far as themes for the home keys so if you scroll down right here and it says navbar app updates just go ahead and click in the middle where it says welcome to the community and etc and this page is going to open up click right here where it says plus google.com as soon as you touch that button um, you're gonna have a whole new list open up to you and you have an option to either go to Google Drive or Dropbox to choose which one of the, your uh, options to download the actual themes I usually go with you know Google Drive so click on the selection of your choice and once Google Drive or Dropbox opens up you're gonna have a whole nother list right here and whatever type of phone you have, either a Blackberry, an LG, Google phone, Motorola, etc., go ahead and hit that link. I have an LG phone, so I'm going to tap LG. Once you have this section pulled off, you're going to have more sections. It's either going to say you have an LG Stylo, uh, LG Stylo 2, V20, X Power, whatever. Now, by chance, if you don't see your model number, I'm uh, sorry, your model phone in here, you might want to go ahead and consider doing some research on Google 
because that's what I had to do because the phone that I have is not listed in these folders. Um, I have an LG G Vista 2 and so when I went to research it I basically saw that there's a lot of comparisons between my phone and the G3. So I went ahead and I went ahead and clicked the LG G3 and now you have these three box options here to choose from. What you want to do is go ahead and download all three of these files here. Just click on the three dots and it's going to give you an option to download. You want to download that. Don't use anything else. Don't hit with open with or whatnot. Just download it like any other file. Once you go ahead and you download these three files, you want to go ahead and go back all the way back until you come back to this page. Go back a couple more times and last time you'll be back here at custom images. As soon as you get back here from downloading your three um, files, go ahead and hit the three dots on the top right and it's going to say import images without cropping. Go ahead and click that now it's going to say here you can import your images without using cropping feature. All imported images will be scaled to fill navigation bar. So basically you go ahead and you click the plus sign and when you get into whatever department you chose to download the files at, you want to make sure that you go either list view or whatever the case may be so you can actually read what's in that file. Like say for example you click add you know add a uh, portrait image you want to go ahead and click that whatever box says portrait image click on that same as the other two once you go ahead and you do that hit import as soon as import is completed you want to go back to your saved images and just scroll down a little bit and then you're going to see either one two or three uh, little dots uh, however how many ever themes you downloaded is going to be right under the basic theme that came with the application so you click on that, and as soon as you click on that, you have exactly what you see down there on the home keys. You have the nougat pixel look on your home keys. Now, I know I had said I'll get back to this last option down here, and it's basically a music widget. Now, what it basically does is when you click on it, if you uh, watch YouTube videos, movies, TV, or whatever the case may be, if you have any kind of audio in the background playing, you're going to see little waves in the background like you would uh, hear in music or whatnot. Now this uh, application is not available yet, but they are actually working on it. I'm not sure when they're going to release that part, but I'm on top of it trying to get ideas on, you know, uh, talking to whoever didn't, you know, I need to talk to to get the application up and going. So if you want this, if you want to request this option, let me know in the comments and I will keep you posted on when it will be available. Now, other than that, um, there you go. You got the look and feel of the uh, pixel look on your home keys. I hope this tutorial really helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please don't be afraid to do so. This is David and thank you for watching.